Losing love is like organ damage. It's like dying. The only difference is death ends. This, it can go on forever. The trap is when you start to pay attention to that stuff and care because in six months, they're going to be looking at someone else. You know how fickle everyone is. They love it, then they hate it, then they love it. So I'm going to enjoy it because it could be over at any minute. People love to watch a train wreck, I suppose. Really, I don't care if people think I'm just skinny. This is my body. If they don't like it, screw it. Can you get any better than Patrick Dempsey? I don't think so. I'm the Renee Zellweger now. Jewel is the me now. There is no more Jewel. I want to teach my daughter the importance of exercising and eating healthy as she grows up. You know, Boston people are full of sauce. If I'm bringing joy to people and entertaining people as an actor, then I should be grateful for that and act accordingly. You know, I read a lot of nonfiction, especially books about the brain. I'm not saving anybody's life. I'm not a teacher. I'm not working for UNICEF. I don't think I'm some big deal. Medicine is so fascinating. Where I come from, you don't just say, oh, I'm going to become an actor. Talk like that and they think you're crazy. There's a remarkable amount of sexism on TV. When male characters are flawed, they're interesting, deep and complex. But when female characters are flawed, they're just a mess. It's good to put more flawed but interesting female characters out there because it promotes equality. Being a mother is the most fun job I've ever had. Being a mother is magical. My daily schedule is quite hectic, but I have to put my health first in order to be the best mom and wife I can be. It's easy to get lost in the baby. You have to make sure you give your husband attention. Cancer is something that touches everyone's lives. I went up a pants size during my pregnancy. Dr. McDreamy, that's what I call Patrick's character. He's gorgeous. He's got a great body and he's got damn fine hair. This is Hollywood. People don't admit mistakes. My mother came from an Irish family of 11 kids and, of course, had a sister who was a nun. So I spent time at a convent and with an aunt and uncle who lived in New York and took me to the theater. Happiness is not that easy to achieve, but having a handsome husband, a beautiful baby, and a great job helps. I was never a person who was introduced to junk food. Acting can be an amazingly cathartic thing especially for young girls. Thank God, Shonda Rhimes had this agenda to make television look like life, to make it look like the real world. I think for any actor to say they don't like attention is ridiculous. Of course we love attention, but getting attention is different than pretending the attention means something. Learning about the way people process information and their emotions is hugely helpful to my work. I don't like everybody who I see on TV. I just worry about the girls who look up to me. I don't want them to think I starve myself or don't eat and that to be like me that's what they have to do. The older you get, the more realistic it is that your significant other is your significant other. I mean, you always have your girlfriends or your guy friends, but the person you're married to is usually your number one. Ellen Kathleen Pompeo born November 10, 1969 in Everett, Massachusetts. Her father was born in Gesualdo, Italy, and was of Italian, English, and Irish descent, and her mother of Irish ancestry. She was raised as a Catholic. Her mother died of an accidental painkiller overdose when she was four. Her father remarried soon after. He died on September 1, 2012. In 2006, Pompeo said, I think having my mother die at such a very young age when she was 39 appreciate life so much. She has five older siblings, three sisters and two brothers. She was nicknamed the pencil and stracciatella gelato flavor. She worked as a bartender in Miami when she started dating her then boyfriend. They moved to New York City in 1995, where she was approached by a casting director to appear in ads for Citibank and L'Oreal. Pompeo is an American actress, one of the world's highest paid actors since 2017. She has made multiple appearances on Forbes year-end lists, 
Her accolades include a Screen Actors Guild Award and a Golden Globe Award nomination. She made her screen debut with NBC's Legal Drama Law and & Order, then guest starred in other television shows, including the comedy Strangers with Candy, the medical drama, Strong Medicine and the sitcom Friends. She made her feature film debut in 1999 with the romantic comedy Coming Soon, and went on to play minor roles in films like In the Weeds and Mambo Calf but found little initial success. A turning point came in her career in 2002, when she was noticed for her role in Brad Silberling's romantic drama Moonlight Mile. Pompeo was then cast in ABC's popular medical drama Grey's Anatomy, and gained worldwide recognition for her portrayal of the title character Dr. Meredith Grey. The role on the long-running series earned her a Screen Actors Guild Award. The character became widely popular, making Pompeo one of the most renowned television actresses. In 2016, she was ranked fourth in the list of highest paid TV actresses by Forbes, with earnings of $14.9 million. She became the third highest paid female and the fifth highest paid actor overall in 2018 with earnings of $23.6 million. She was also the highest ranked actress from a drama series. On the list, Pompeo's other film roles include the comedy Old School 2003, the superhero film Daredevil 2003, the caper film Art Heist 2004, and the comedy drama Life of the Party 2005. In addition to her acting career, she has directed two episodes of Grey's Anatomy and founded a production company, Calamity Jane. She has been married to music producer Chris Ivory since 2007. They have three children, 